हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू दी ग्रामोली हियर वी विल बी डूइंग क्यू टी डी जीरो थ्री ऑफ फिजिक्स यू कैन जॉइन अस ऑन आर डिस्कॉट सर्वर टू टेक पार्ट इन दिस क्यू टी डीज सो लेट स्टार्ट अप विद द प्रॉब्लम द प्रॉब्लम ओवर यर स्टेट्स दैट अ बॉल इज थ्रोन एट स्पीड बी फ्रॉम जीरो हाइट ऑन लेवल ग्राउंड एट वॉट एंगल शुड इट बी थ्रोन सो दैट द डिस्टेंस ट्रेवल टू द एयर इज मैक्सिम इन शॉर्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड द मैक्सिम ट्रेजेक्ट्री पॉसिबल एट एन एंगल सो लेट स्टार्ट अप विद द सोल्यूशन so as we know that the x coordinate of the projectile will be v cos theta into t as there is no acceleration in x axis and the y coordinate will be v sin theta into t minus gt square by 2 from linear equations of motion now the time to reach h max will be v sin theta by j now seeing over here we know that if there are two small quantities perpendicular to each other like dy and dx so and uh, there is a hypotenuse and there is a curve covering it so the curve will be approximately equal to the hypotenuse that is root under dx square plus dy square applying this theory to the uh, to find length of the trajectory we can do it as length of the trajectory will be equals to 2 times the root under of dx by dt whole square plus dy by dt whole square into dt integrating from 0 to v sin theta by g so now uh using the values of dx by dt and dy by dt over here we get length of the trajectory is equals to 2 into integration of root under v cos theta into t whole square plus v sin theta by g minus gt whole square into dt from 0 to v sin theta by g now solving further we get length of the trajectory as equal to 2v cos theta into root under 1 plus tan theta minus gt upon v cos theta whole square into dt from 0 to v sin theta by g now moving further making a substitution of w as tan theta minus gt upon v cos theta we get uh, by uh, differentiating it dw as minus g upon v cos theta into dt now using this value in uh, the length of the trajectory we get minus 2v square cos square theta upon g into integration of root under 1 plus w square into dw from tan theta to 0 now making a final substitution as letting the w as tan alpha we get dw as 1 upon cos square alpha into d alpha now using this over here we get the length of the trajectory as 2v square cos square theta upon g into integration of d alpha upon cos cube alpha from limits 0 to theta now this integration so derivation is at the last of the solutions so you can check it out in the description below or you can do it on your own so from here we move to the next step we get length of the trajectory as 2v square cos square theta upon g into half of sin theta upon cos square theta plus log of 1 plus sin theta upon cos theta now upon further solving we get this expression as length of the trajectory is equals to v square upon g into sin theta plus cos square theta into log of 1 plus sin theta upon cos theta now we have to take the derivative of it so we differentiate it to find the maximum of it so we get zero is equals to the this expression now when we reduce and simplify it to solve we get 1 is equals to sin theta into log of 1 plus sin theta upon cos theta which is the final expression as our first answer and after we solve this equations we get at theta as approximately equal to 56.5 degrees so here we end up with the solution thanks for watching